Hi, I'm going to put you through a little tutorial on how to use Stuka Recorder, mainly for recording audio for Tatoeba. So, first of all, here you can see the website, and I'll include the link to it in the comments. Um, this is the English website. If you happen to speak French, then you can remove the EN up here and get to the French website. And you just download the kit Stuka, and it includes Stuka Recorder along with Explorer and Repeat which we won't be covering today. Once you've installed it, you can go ahead and run it, and it looks like this. Right here is where you will pick the language for uh, the language that you're going to be recording. It's listed by ISO and by um, alphabet, so you should be able to find it easily there. And we're recording for Lojban in this. Here you pick the silence between the words in seconds, so one half of a second here, and it tells you in the gray that that will be 1.5 seconds between sentences. Then over here, in the speaker tab, you list your name, I'm using a handle, the town that you live in, country, your gender, your birth, your native language if you're recording in a language that isn't native to you and your linguistic region as long, well as a copyright if you want. Here you pick the output. I have a folder for the audio and use a mask. Masks are variables that add uh, information to the extension which I'll talk about in just a second. Here's the compression so you can decide if you want to save into an AUG or a FLAC and if you want to delete waves and texts that are created while you're recording afterwards. I'm going to be using AUG for this. So, look at the percent one here. That is reflected over here by parameter. It's the first parameter. So, if we go down here and pop open the sentence list that Tatoeba gave to me for Lojban, then you can copy and you can get a sentence list from them as well. And paste them right in here. These are the words that you're going to be recording, and this is the first parameter. And you'll see if I go over to output now that it gives a little example here, 599308, 599308, and that can be anything, but in this case it helps um, Tatoeba with organizing things. So that's what you're going to want to have, and you can start with just a couple words. Then you're going to just hit continue and that pops up this window so up here is the actual list of words you're going to be recording a record button, a pause button, next and previous and this will be for listening to your words afterwards let's go over to the recording settings here you can set some interesting settings for recording depending on your environment so the blocks length here shows how many uh, seconds each block down here in the input graph represents. The margin before and after are these two little blocks here which will be saved. Final silence denotes how long you have to be silent before it saves the file. Minimum length is obvious and the others aren't really very important. Um, the thresholds have to do with the amount of noise you have to make before it begins recording, um, but that's you can pretty much leave that alone. So, we'll go ahead and exit out. Um, to begin recording, you click on this button or you hit space, and then you just read the words that are in red, and when you stop, it'll automatically move on to the next one. So, I'll give a little demonstration here. Le carche shubredi. So as you can see there, it continued going along the bottom because there's a little bit of noise in the background. So, if you want to keep that from happening, you go to the recording settings and put up the starting threshold. Or the max noise level. Let's make this 6%. Hit apply. So there we go. The Karsha Shubredi. Ti 
and then it just ends. Now you can go back through and play them just by clicking on the one you want to listen to and pressing this button or hitting enter. You can also use the arrow keys to navigate and then you're done. Go ahead and click close and go on over to here and look at that. They've recorded. They have the names, the information that was given right here in the parameters and you can open them up and they play and if you go into their properties they have all of the information that you gave to them all of the SWAC information and then you just repeat that and delete the words that you're done with go back over and copy in new ones and continue doing that until you're through the list and then you can upload that and submit it to Tatoeba. So if you have any questions or if I got anything wrong or left something out, please leave a comment and I'll try and cover that in a sequel or in a remake. Thanks for watching.